Hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my garage. Thought I'd start YouTubing a little bit more. Got a few videos on, mainly riding local bike parks, a bit of bike park wales. But I want to share my experience of my new e bike. So I'll give you a little bit of background. 33 years old, a little bit overweight, about 17 stone at the minute. Um, I'd say my fitness is about average, not the most fittest person out there, but I'm also not a slug. Um, and my riding is average, maybe a little bit above, without trying to bring myself up too much. I can hit drops, jumps, gap jumps, um, so I'm not too bad. So to earn a crust, I am a grease monkey. I work on cars at a Vauxhall dealership. So in my spare time, I do like to ride my bikes, although I don't get as much spare time as I want to. I'm going to be doing a lot more riding on my new old Bayer Wild FS. So I'm going to bring you along for the journey. So I used to have two mountain bikes. I used to have a white T129S, which was a short travel, 120mm, 29er, which was my first full suspension mountain bike. Bought that about five to six years ago. Really got into the sport, having come from road riding. So I enjoyed that, riding around my local trails. Did take it to Bike Park Wales once. Was a little bit out of my comfort zone on it, but managed to hit through the black trails. Um, and then later on, I bought a, in 2018, I bought a Transition Patrol, um, which I use for my bike, bike parks, Bike Park Wales, go to Chick Sands quite a lot, Aston Hill, places like that. Um, improved my riding a lot, gave me a lot more confidence on the big stuff. But now, I decided to sell both those bikes, and I wanted one do-it-all bike, so I decided to buy an e-bike. Now, from my experience on riding my patrol on flat ground around Fetford, we live in Norfolk, it's very flat, not a lot of elevation change. So it was very sloggy, you couldn't get any power down on the flats, it was it was horrible really riding riding that bike around Fetford. The white was okay, it managed that, it was ideal for that really. Also live uh, on the doorstep of a trail called Marriott's Way, which is just flat, just like a footpath really. But it's Brilliant for fitness. You can do 10 miles out, 10 miles back. Obviously, there's no loop, um, but you can do you can, can do some fitness rides on that. So, we've got the uh, the all bay now. 160 mil travel front and rear, 29 wheels, with the added bonus of having the Bosch CX Performance motor, which I'm hoping is going to make it less of a slog on flat ground, make this flat ground more enjoyable. That yeah, will keep the speed up. Um, if you make a mess of a turn, you'll be able to drive out and uh, pick the speed up a bit quicker again. So, I'm hoping that this afternoon the rain's going to ease off a little bit because I really don't want to get it filthy dirty. I spent the last two days in visit framing the whole bike. Uh, the bike came with um, Shimano rear derailleur and shifter, um, but I'm a SRAM man, so I've put my SRAM X01 front mech and derailleur on. Um, also came with a Orbea branded dropper post, so I've put my RockShox Reverb 150mm drop with a 1x remote in the bike, um, just because I wanted to match up my Hope E4 uh, brakes and have a matchmaker make the uh, cockpit nice and tidy, so I've got to have loads of different clamps. I've also put uh, joystick, uh, joystick analog bars on, which I'll show you around the bike in a little while. And today, last job, make the bike pucker. I'm um, going to make it tubeless, comes tubeless ready. Um, unfortunately, didn't come with any rim tape, so I had to order some uh, muck off rim tape for today, which has just turned up. So I'm going to slap that in, and hopefully, this afternoon, after I've had a bite to eat, we we'll take it for a maiden voyage. I did go out yesterday, but only up and down the, up and down the lane just, uh, just to see what it feels like, and it does feel pretty good, even just riding it around a car park and up and down the road. So. I'm now going to uh, make, my tube, make my wheels tubeless and then uh, we'll crack on the ride this afternoon. So tubeless done, that's about ready to ride. Just got to set my suspension up. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with a video of that, just set my sag and put everything at a base setting and then have a bit of a shakedown ride this afternoon. So I'll give you a bit of a bike check. So we'll start at the top, RockShox Reverb, 150mm drop. Ergon saddle, 
frame all Invisiframed. Got the joystick analog carbon 35 bars. Partnered up with a binary stem. Hope E4 front brake with the X01 shifter, ergon grips, put a little mud guard on there, lovely hope brakes, bike came with some Shimano 4 pot calibers but I kept back the, uh, the hope brakes from when I stripped down my patrol so they're all nicely on there, SRAM X01 rear mech, Some lovely gold muck off valves. I wasn't too sure on how my hope brakes were going to partner up with the Purion, but from uh, the little ride last night, it seemed to have got that in a pretty good position. So we'll see what it's like on the ride today. So, yeah, here she is. So we're just going to make our way down to Marriott's Way. We're right in the city. Pop down to Mousehold. I'm currently in Eco. That's actually nicer than riding a normal bike. Ridiculous in Eco. Okay. It's not a very uh, hard climb on a normal bike. But... Jesus. It's rather sloppy today as well. Not really the ideal weather to be taking a brand new bike out, but who cares? Yeah, coming up to the home stretch, but finishing Norwich. Down by the river, probably about five miles. I haven't looked at my Garmin yet. I've got a watch on, but it's all covered up because it's wet. And the range, riding in the eco, one little blowout on turbo, up a little short hill. The range is saying 69, sort of fluctuating between 68 and 70. So, what I want it for, it's probably going to be ideal for fitness. I can easily do. 40 miles, not like I have done recently, the longest miles I've done lately is about 20 on my uh, analog bike. So I could easily do that and put in a similar effort. So, all these people saying e bikes is cheating, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I've put in a similar effort to what I would normally. I've got here no quicker, the motor is literally just assisting me taking up that extra weight. This is pretty much the steepest hill that I know of in Norwich. I've tried it on my road bike and failed. I've tried it on my uh, transition patrol with Eagle and just about made it to the top. But I was proper blowing out my backside. So, I stuck it in turbo. I'm not going to go mad, I'm just going to see if I can get up nice and easy as if I was on uh, a bike park day and didn't want to get off. So here we go. Too easy here. Yeah. Now it starts to steepen up. This is when you find out your gears aren't set up properly. So, I'm obviously putting in enough effort so I can talk. I'm not going crazy. And the bike is literally just pulling me up the hill. I would have never been able to chat when I was on my own old bike. So I'm going to go around to the left. 
Yeah, it did. It's just a B screw. Literally no tension on the chain. So. I don't know what happened there, but I've rectified it. So we'll go back down the hill, and then we're going to ride up the other way, which is not so steep. Nice gentle incline. There's a bit of a little test of the brakes. This is what we call the bench behind Zach's. Suspension has been nice and plush in the climb. We're going to have a little sight and run down this trail first because we do get quite a bit of trail sabotage. A little bit of overrun on the motor. Something to get used to. Quite technical down here. Very wet, very muddy. Roots will be very slippery today. But I want to get out. So this is normally where the trail sounds out. Not too bad today. Just sloppy. So I've done 10 miles and I haven't lost the bar. We've main, mainly been riding the eco. Now I'd never dream of riding up there on my bike because it takes too much out. But on this, it's a breeze. Not this sport at all. Not out of breath. Down up the top. Nice flash suspension. So yeah, I let this off already. Near enough. Gonna get so many more runs in. Especially on my control. But the wild is cruising. And I'm not even in turbo. I'm in even at the moment. I don't know if it's slot or my gears need adjusting, but we'll get to that later. The legs are still burning, but I can talk. Nice. I'm on a 160 mil travel bike and I'm enjoying riding on the flat in slop in the pouring rain. It's fun. So, first impression are mega. This is so fun. There's 
Just think about it, yeah, anyway. Think no more. Go by one.